week, we are celebrating Earth Week here at CBS 8 in honor of Earth Day, which is taking place next Monday. But let's just be serious. Every single day, we should be kind to our planet, and every single day should be Earth Day. So thank you for joining us. And while we have two guests right here on our show to help you get involved in our community and with the environment. All right, first we're going to talk about Steve Morris, and he's the executive director of I Love a Clean San Diego, and Craig Gustafson. And Craig, you are the program manager for Think Blue San Diego. Did I get that last name? That is correct. Yay! Okay, <laughs> I was going over that one in my head. But it's all good. You said gust, like gust of wind. I like yeah, that. yeah. All right, we're going to start with you, Steve. Let's talk about the top pollutants that you find out there on these beach cleanups and around the county. Yeah, this is the 22nd year we're doing Creek to Bay cleanup, and you would not believe it, but cigarette butts are still the number one item oh that we find. Goodness. People think that with the new smoking, vaping styles that they're not finding them, but they're still out there. Mm -hmm. um, plastic is probably the, the soon-to-be top item, but little pieces of plastic, plastic water bottles, bottle caps, um, those, are, are, those are the dangerous items that we find out there. Yeah, you definitely do not want to see that. And so uh, what habits do you think that people should change in honor of Earth Day to try to reduce that? Yeah, and that's why we love getting people out to clean up because they see what's out there on the ground. So they go, oh my gosh, maybe I should not buy that item because it ends up in the park and in yeah. the beach and, and eventually in the ocean. So I think people just thinking about reusing items more, reusable items, um, less single-use plastics, single-use waste because that gets thrown away and then buried in the landfill and um, obviously doesn't get reused or repurposed. So just making smart choices. I like that. And I actually want to ask you a personal question. What sort of things have you done in your life, like little steps to get to that point that you think that people could adapt as well? Yeah, and it's not as hard as people think. So a reusable water bottle, reusable coffee cup. Um, I'm a father, so we have a baby, and there's a lot of single-use items with yes. having a baby, but you do the best you can. We buy glass bottles and do things with our child to try to not have waste every single day. Mm -hmm. The average person generates about 21 pounds of waste every day when you measure your garbage. So if you can cut that in half, that would have a huge impact on our environment. I love that. And I know we we're talking about Earth, uh, Earth Day is next uh, Monday, yep. but we're doing Earth Week here at CBS 8. So uh, what can people do this month, eventually? that you have that were targeted to environmentally friendly stuff. Yeah, so the big one is this Saturday. We're mm -hmm. partnering with Think Blue San Diego. Yes. They're our presenting partner, and it's the Creek to Bay cleanup. So from 9 to noon this Saturday, there's 100 sites across the county, and you can sign up on our website to volunteer. It's that easy. You just pick a site, and there's a handful of sites that are still looking for more volunteers, but anywhere from San Ysidro up to Oceanside, all the way east to Julian, um, you can find a site and bring your family and help pick up trash, get it out of the environment, and feel like you're participating in Earth Week. I love that and talking about every spot of the county you can get out there. And we're going to switch over to you Craig. How is Think Blue San Diego involved with uh, the cleanup? Yeah, well, we sponsor cleanups throughout the year uh, with various organizations like I Love, I Love a Clean San Diego, and, and they're actually celebrating their 70th year doing this in, in our county, uh, and so uh, they're, they're a huge resource for us in the region, and we'd lo love to sponsor all their events because mm -hmm. it's right up our alley as far as Think Blue. We want people to, you know, make smart decisions every day on how they can reduce the trash that they have so we can have less in our landfill, less on the streets, uh, less that gets into our storm drains, and eventually our ocean. It's a good thing that you act, you were uh, saying that because how can people prevent storm uh, drain pollution? Yeah, it's really about just uh, simple everyday things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, as simple as just throwing away your trash in a in a, a covered bin, yeah. uh, so that way it doesn't fall out, it doesn't get blown out, it, animals can't get to it or anything like that, and so that way it doesn't end up on the ground. And that way, because every time it rains, anything that's on the ground, it's going to flow into a storm drain, and that leads directly to our local waterways in the ocean. And we want to stop that before it even starts. Understandable. And my last question is going to be to you, Craig. What results have you seen in previous cleanups, like the one right after we had those storms in January? Oh well, there was a, obviously the storms. Uh, generate a lot of debris and stuff and like the crews, city crews have been cleaning a lot of those uh, areas and, and there's been over 9,800 tons of trash and debris and vegetation and mud and stuff removed from, from a lot of the areas that were hardest hit by the storm. So crews have been working diligently every day out there trying to clean it up, make it better for everybody going forward. You can appreciate that. All right, I think we have details on the Creek to Bay cleanup. If you want to get involved, go ahead and take a look at your screen right there. So the annual Creek to Bay cleanup is this Saturday, April 20th. You can go to our website, cbs8.com slash community, and that will direct you right to uh, the sign up so you can get more information, be out there. I want to thank you both, Steve and Craig, for joining us on the floor today and getting more information out there for our viewers. Thanks, Thanks for having us. You're very welcome. Heather.